So why do the books matter as well as language and time? I'm gonna tell you why. First, I'm gonna use something modern day so that as I go through this, you'll already have a good, decent understanding of what I'm talking about. Prior to the 18, 1700s, the word awful meant to be filled with awe. It was a positive term. To my understanding, it started being used as far as how storms would come. And the storm made people feel filled with awe at the awesome power of the storm. But then the destructive nature of the storm started relaying that word to meaning something negative. And if you only look at it from our time today, the word awful is purely negative. Let's look at another idea word that is spread throughout time. The word Anunnaki and Nephilim which both actually have the same meaning when you go back in time and look at how words and language change. Anunnaki from the Sumerian, the original civilization from this current time frame of civilization from 8,000 years ago, meant from heaven to earth they came. The word Nephilim, most people just look at that to say the fallen angels. But when you look at Genesis 6, it also calls these Nephilim meant it, it referred to them as great men of renown. Now, if you think about those terms, great men of renown, that is not a negative. That is something that is positive. But why did it change? When you look at the book of Enoch, Enoch describes them as the sons of God who came down and started to intermarry with the daughters of men, but then started teaching them their science. And when food became scarce, they began to devour all the cattle, all the animals, and then began to devour men. So they became negative. When you look at the Genesis story, the, them being great men of renown, then later on they start turning negative because of language, because of what they did. Prior to that, they were positive. But we look at the step two of it, we just changed the word to mean fallen. We took it as a negative in the falling from grace. Instead of just from heaven to earth, they came. Even in the Quran, you have giants. These giants were good to go until they disobeyed Allah and then Allah killed them with the wind. So depending upon the actions that happen, it changes the meanings of the word, but it also changes for us what it actually means to us. That these Nephilim, that these Anunnaki, all being the same, and in the Anunnaki story, the Sumerian story, it's really the lower caste, the Igigi, that comes down. Now, of course, through time, at one point, the Igigi are higher than the Anunnaki, and then the Anunnaki rise back up and become higher, depending upon which kingdom we're talking about. So when you study, you have to study time and culture and everything in between.